Well, hey there guys. Welcome to another Working Out with Aaron Briggs video. We're happy you are with us. We're um, excited to take you through another good uh, movement today. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. We have some good ones in. So today we're gonna do a, today's a strength day. And if you remember, we uh, on Fridays, we kind of do our intervals. Um, this is kind of an interesting way to do it. We call it straight sets. And the way that it's gonna be is you're gonna have two distinct movements today. You're gonna have a lunge, which you see us warming up with right now. We're gonna invite you to go ahead and join us. Any lunge will work today. And remember, if lunges just aren't your thing, if they don't feel good for your hips or knees, try squats, try step ups, try something else, okay? Your second move is a plank or plank to push up or push. It's really just about any push that you want it to be. If today your thing is to stand up and lift a weight over your head, you can do that. If you want to do push-ups, that's fine too. If you want to do just planks, that's cool. It'll work. So again, the best thing you can do is move the the way that feels best for you, mm -hmm. the way that feels, mm -hmm. you know, with the least amount of pain, hopefully no pain, um, but for sure the, the best thing you can do. And uh, anyways, the timing is gonna work this way. You're gonna go with lunges. When we start, you're gonna go 20 seconds of lunges, then you're gonna take a 10 second break, and then we're gonna repeat. We're gonna go lunges six times in a row before we switch to uh, the planks or the plank to push up. So just kind of getting your mind ready for that one. Now you'll see me doing a couple of wrist stretches before we start. Those of you that are gonna be on your hands for your planks, it's not a bad idea to pause the video and go through what you see me doing here, just kind of gently leaning over my wrist uh, both forwards and then kind of backwards on it. So it's up to you if you want to do it Go hop ahead. Hop on up and get ready for those lunges. Otherwise hop on up. You shouldn't need any weight You'll see I've got a kettlebell there four three two one Begin body weight should suffice uh, Like I said, you'll see me use the kettlebell in the middle of these things just as an example If uh, if body weight does feel light for you go ahead and consider adding a weight somehow otherwise just stick to what you got and keep moving four Three, two, one. Take a little breather there. First round, wasn't too much burn, right? No, first round I felt a little wobbly yeah. actually. I yeah. was getting my balance back. You're ironing out the wrinkles. <laughs> Three, two, one, begin. Those of you that have joined us with these kind of intervals before, I, I'm never sure how to pronounce it, if it's Tabata or Tabata or whatever they are. Uh, I believe he was a researcher that came up with the specific ratio, 20 seconds and 10, right? 20 on, 10 off. At any rate, we're gonna use them, right? We don't have to be able to pronounce it. Three, two, one, take a little breather. But yeah, it doesn't even take you long to know that this long. is doing some good. It, it is work. Yep. <laughs> two, one, begin again. What I always tell my people is because- Keep doing those lunges. Keep baby. doing those lunges. Because we're going for such a short time, S speed is a variable here. It, it, I like to say it's of the essence. That being said, Always, always, your priority is to look good and feel good first. Bless you. If you've got that down, three, two, one, take a little breather, then go ahead and add on a little bit of speed. That's what we're, we're aiming for. Three, two, one, begin again. <laughs> yeah, even by, I think it was like round two, I was like, how many are we yeah, doing yeah. of these? <laughs> yeah. It adds up quickly. The the hallmark of this, if you're, I like to say, if you're doing them right, is by the time 20 seconds is done, you're gonna swear you've done 30 or 40 seconds. Yeah. Three, two, one, and that 10 second break feels like a two second break. Oh, That's yeah. Yeah. what's fairly normal. And we're going again in four, three, two, one, begin. Now the thing we're almost missing here, uh, what I like to say is we do our, our intentions, right? So usually if we're doing three rounds, that first round is getting a feel for it, second round is dialing it up, third round, you're either finishing well or adding intensity, and you'll see we almost missed that a little bit here. Four, three, two, one, you've done great, you've got one more round. I said we're gonna go six of these, take a little break. You've got one to do. Three, <laughs> two, really tired that one, <laughs> begin, last round of lunges. This is why we do a voiceover, because if we were talking while we were doing <laughs> we it, we wouldn't be able to, be able to yeah. talk. <laughs> no way, we'd be huffing above it. It'd sound horrible. <laughs> so even with these timings, I, you, you've got six rounds, and the idea is that the first round or two, you iron out the wrinkles. You, you make it feel good. And maybe the middle rounds, you're dialing it up. And stop. I was monologuing again. Yeah, Aaron, and I was like, no, don't make them well, go yeah. longer. <laughs> no. Go ahead and take yourself a break. now. We're gonna take the next 30 to 40 seconds here 
to breathe and kind of get set up. Bless you. Bless you, Wally. You guys are hearing our little one there. And we're gonna go ahead and get ready for those plank push-ups. Now again, if you need more, more time, go ahead and pause the video. We will still be here <laughs> whenever you press that play button. The beauty of YouTube, right? You've got 10 seconds to go. 10 seconds until you start until the plank push-ups. That's right. Four, three, two, one, begin. Now that plank to push up, if you're watching me, is right elbows to hands, forearms to hands. Maggie is doing a variant on that called the shoulder tap. She's still in plank, she's just tapping one shoulder. It's an awesome option. Mm -hmm. And again, we want to give that to you. We know a lot of people struggle with having wrist issues, maybe they get a little sore. So again, do what's best for you. Three, two, one. Excellent first round of six. Whew. One, nice. one done. Yeah, nice yep, job. One round. Three, done. you got this. Two, one, go again. Rock into it. I like to say that you've got the, the, the nice thing about these timed workouts is you've got 20 seconds. Get as many good reps in as you can, and it, it doesn't matter. I'm not counting. I, you can count if you want to, but you don't you don't have to, right? The idea mm -hmm. is that you've just got that time. Three, two, one, take a break. And if you need to break during that 20 seconds, that's fine too. Right? Oh yeah, I definitely was taking breaks <laughs> in the Three, middle and two, one, begin. The other thing I was doing too was like watching the clock and being like, okay, I can do this. It's only seven more seconds. I can do that, you know. And so yeah, just kind of pump yourselves up for those twenty seconds. You can do it because it's kind of mind over matter with Absolutely. some of these things, especially Absolutely. when the burn is getting ya. And three, two, one, and relax. You know, I have a lot of people ask. Can we really get stronger in just five minutes, in just seven minutes? Three, two, one, begin. And the answer is absolutely yes, you can. Uh, most people, I think, overdo their strength training. Uh, mm. It really doesn't take an hour to get strong. Mm. By all means, you, you can spend an hour in the gym. And um, a lot of people, when they're doing that, are taking a lot of break time, which is great. That's kind of a necessary thing. Three, two, one, and stop. Take a little rest. But ultimately, if you're, you know, if you can give me three good minutes of plank to push ups, you're gonna feel it. Yeah. And it's gonna make you stronger. Three, yeah. two, one, begin. Y'all are rocking it. Yep. Keep it going. You guys are just doing awesome. Again, any anything you're doing to get up off those chairs, off the couch, um, and moving around intentionally, you mm -hmm. have probably had to schedule this and fit it into two, your busy day. One. Relax. Take anything, a breather. Anything you guys are doing to do that, we are just proud of you. We know Absolutely. this is difficult to do. Love it. Even three minutes is difficult three, to set a time. Two, set aside. One sometimes. begin. Yeah, it is. Like we've said, make it fun, make it enjoyable. We had some great music blasting in the background while we were doing this one, and yeah, it's kind of just one of those things that. We just want to enjoy these minutes that we spend doing this, but also be super efficient. Two, one, take a breather. So Aaron has kind of taken all the guesswork out of it for us. So really, we get to schedule it, show up, do our best, and then we know that we've done a good job. Exactly, and by the way, you're done. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Congratulations, that was all six rounds of those plank to push-ups. You did six rounds of lunges, that was three minutes of each. It's a hard Oof. workout. Whew. Yeah, little yeah. heads up. Next week we'll be doing eight rounds. That will oh, be the okay. official. Yeah, yeah, it'll be four minutes. Of That's okay. Keep joining us for that. Yeah. Don't <laughs> just not come back. <laughs> the good news is that we we rare, rarely go more than eight rounds. It's not really needed. You can get all your work done in that short time. All right. If you'd like to go ahead and join us in that long sitting stretch. This is where again you're just sitting on the ground. Your legs are flat. They're pointed out straight in front of you, and you are trying to sit upright. Um, you'll see me oftentimes will. Sometimes I'll reach forward with my hands, I'm doing that now, and a little bit I'll put my hands behind my hips and I'll kind of sit up straight and tall. And I'm always aiming for a stretch in my, kind of my backside muscles. So my butt, my glute muscles, my hamstrings, those are the big muscles behind your legs, right behind, right within your thighs, maybe even into your calves, down near your ankles. Uh, any and all of that can be good. And, and can, even if you don't feel it, it's just a good position. It's a good position. To kind of sit yep. in and um, just practice, right, Aaron? Yeah, it's what we call mobility. Mobility mm -hmm. doesn't mean that you have to have a stretch. It just means that you are mobile. You're mm -hmm. able to move in the way that you're designed mm -hmm. to. Right? Yeah, because to be honest, when I sit like this, I don't feel it a ton. I don't mm -hmm. feel a stretch. Um, but I really like the dynamic part of it. And I think we're starting that now. Or, or did we already do it? it? Yeah. <laughs> um, but just that pushing those ankles into the ground 
um, with my breath and then releasing that pressure and then pushing them into the ground. Yeah. I really like that part of this. Um, it's just, it just is a nice relaxing yeah. movement. Exactly. Yeah. Now, a quick reminder, if you're following along, if you downloaded the weekly workout sheet, right, kind of the calendar for it, you'll see that today's workout was seven minutes long and we're always aiming for about 25 minutes in a day. So that would mean that you're gonna do 18 minutes of something else. Me personally, I am probably gonna go outside and get a little jog. Uh, I'm gonna be a little cool today, so I might you know, put a, a layer on. Um, but I like going for a little run. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to, you can pull up any one of our other videos and add it up to 18 minutes, mm -hmm. do something like that. But again, your target is about 25. Yeah, if you're not a runner, I'm not a runner anymore. Uh, you can um, go for a nice long walk. Oh, absolutely. Um, anything moderate, even just you know walking getting on an exercise bike that you have at home, doing some more, um, you know, get ups and get downs and doing some core stuff. All of that adds up. All of that can add up to those extra minutes that sure. are just a good idea for you to get in during the day. Make, so. make it enjoyable. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we're again, just so happy that you joined us. We really can't say enough of just how proud we are of you guys. And Honestly, making these videos is super motivational for me personally to move around. I don't think I'd be doing this if I wasn't doing this um, with Aaron and doing these videos. And so hopefully we're here for you. Hopefully we're helping you move just a little bit more as well. We know this is a tricky time and uh, we're here for you. So proud of you. Make it a great day. We can do this, you guys.